This is Sunil Joshi. We represent, we are known as innovation in the pursuit of excellence, as we like to say, whereas our customers like to know us as a reliable brand for robust components. This is our first time. Uh, it's our pleasure and honor to be on the platform in Gujarat, uh, though we have been active at various parts of this country. We haven't participated much in the events happening in Gujarat, and that's the reason we have taken this initiative. Some of the people in the audience may not be known about this. So before we move forward on the subject that I wanted to show about, I would like to quickly introduce Sileaf to the audience. And before I do that, I'm taking us back to 2012. As we, many of us have been active during those days also, we know most of the time we were dependent on uh, imported components those days. There was no after-sales support available in India because most of the products were imported from various countries and they did not have their service support because they did not have enough business in India by then. Cost of the repair and maintenance was not viable because many of us would have to maintain additional stocks for the purpose of maintenance with the customers. Many products used to fail because they are not designed for Indian environment. And that's when we thought of a solution that we need reliable, robust components that are designed for Indian environment and that also has an excellent after sales service and support network within India. And that's when forward to beginning of Sileaf. Though the beginning of Sileaf has been recent, the work on the projects have started long back in 2012, where we started our R&D activities. We started our research and development to design products which Indian solar industry was struggling to work with. And the first two projects that we started with was solar water pump and off-grid inverters. Development and testing, field testing, which went on with our group company Rely on Solar till 2016. And in November 2016, close to one year ago in InterSolar, we launched Sileaf as a brand of products which is known for its quality and standards. What Sileaf offers at this point of time is DC water pumps, emerge inverters, that is off-grid inverter family, string inverters, data loggers, and a family of power management controllers. The hero of that is SolGrid, which I'm going to talk about in a few minutes from now. Coming to solar DC water pumps that we manufacture, we, have, we are probably one among very few companies who have original BLDC motor, in-house designed and developed. We have true MPPT controller, and as we all know, DC water pumps provide higher output than AC pumps, which is approximately 25% higher throughput as compared to AC pumps of the same capacity. And with the BLDC motor, these pumps have almost negligible maintenance for long life, almost equivalent to 15 years. Currently, we offer 0 0.5 to 5 HP water pumps. And coming to next is off-grid family called Emerge Inverters, where we have 5, 6, 7.5, and 10 kilowatt with a robust design. The reason we like to call this as a robust design, because many a times when we see specification sheets of inverters, we hardly find any difference. Few digits here and there about efficiency and few parameters here and there in terms of digits. I was confused when we wanted to frame a strategy about this inverter. So when I was discussing with our technical team, I asked them, what is unique about our products? Why are our products so, are they expensive? Are they expensive than market? What is so unique about it? He gave me an incident which I would like to share here. Some of our inverters during our field testing are working in the market for the last three and a half years. There are about 150 of them in working at all different conditions, including adverse conditions like UP, Bihar, Rajasthan, and many other places. And he mentioned that out of these 150 inverters in last three and a half years, the complaint is only with two inverters. And that too, we did not have to change the power card. We did not have to bring back the inverter. It was a minor problem repaired on site. This is only to indicate the way I mentioned about the Indian products designed for Indian environments. What does it mean and how can it work fail proof? That's how we call it as a robust design. These inverters have superior MPPT algorithm 
which harvest better energy, more energy. It has multi-level protections as required as most of others to have. Graphical LCD display for user level settings and configurable energy management and prior priority system. These are all inbuilt in the product. Recently, we have introduced our string inverters. These are also robust, reliable, efficient, and intelligent. Completely indigenous as all other products that we offer. We also offer single MPPT as well as dual MPPT series with high efficiency. Currently, we have launched 3 kilowatt and 5 kilowatt models, and all of the models are launching soon. Some of them we are launching at Intersolar in Mumbai next month. Next product is about data logger. Many of us know how important it is for data. In the morning session and in the session now, we have discussed about the importance of generation, operations and maintenance, and how well can we derive best out of our solar power plants. Most important is to have the data to analyze, work, and ensure that it performs to the optimum level. So these data loggers are helpful in remote monitoring of overall plant performance. It also gives power management at every stage, monitors grid and DG parameters, and inbuilt functionality to monitor grid versus solar consumption. I was planning to do an online demo, but in the short of time, I'm gonna show a few screenshots. So this is about a dashboard that gives all the parameters required. That's about graph that shows radiation versus generation. And this shows the comparison of various inverters within the plant. This is all real-time data taken on the screen screenshots online. Anyone of us interested, we could share more details because there are a lot of features which I would like to cover later due to short of time here. And now here comes the hero, our award-winning product, which is won the award of most innovative product of the year. We like to call this SolGrid. That is Solar, Grid, and DG Synchronizer. The version that I'm going to show you here is a full-fledged version. We also call this six-in-one product because this product gives solution to six problems. It takes care of remote monitoring, reverse power control, optimization of generation, data logging at power plant level, that is load side, and synchronization of various power resources. To have a better idea about this product, I would like to show a demo, and would like to have a quick demo on this. I think this green dot seems to be not seen. Are we able to see this? Let's assume we have grid availability. We have a solar power plant of 1,000 kilowatt capacity, for an example, and we have a load as of now as 1,000 kilowatt. Let's, at this point of time, DG is not considered to be the capacity. So let's increase the DG capacity here, and let's assume for our example purpose as 800 kilowatt for now. In a normal case of this type, it's very simple and straight case where we would have 1,000 kilowatt is a generation, 1,000 kilowatt is the load, and hence the complete load is taken from the solar power plant. Let's take a simple example moving forward. We move load to 1,200 kilowatt, and if the grid is available, 1,000 kilowatt comes from solar, 200 kilowatt comes from grid. This is very, very simple. What happens if the load decreases? In this particular case, for some reason, if the load is reduced to 800 kilowatt, now here we see, though the solar power plant is of 1,000 kilowatt, the generation is optimized to 800 kilowatt, and hence, it is, it is reduced as per the requirement of the load. What happens in case SolGrid is not available? Let's have a look. This was a case when we were seeing that the SolGrid was installed in the system. In case the load has dropped to 800 kilowatt, the capacity was 1,000 kilowatt this works as a reverse power. It not only goes into the grid, and in case the net metering is not applicable or not yet installed by then, the unidirectional meters do not understand whether it is import or export, and the bill comes higher. The reason we launched this product was we had a plant in Gabriel, and when we installed the plant, net metering was not allowed by then, it was not available by then. And on Sunday or on week off days, when their plant used to be shut down, they used to, there used to be a lot of reverse power, and they come back to us after three months saying, after installing solar power plant, our bill increases. We don't know what to do. And we studied all the aspects, and that's when our technical team came up with this product, 
where they had multiple power resources, that is grid, solar, and generator, diesel generator. That's when it worked. In case grid is not available here and the load is reduced, the power is getting into diesel generator, which is further more dangerous. The diesel generator could actually, because diesel generator is not designed to accept power, it starts converting into motor and it gets into maintenance. That becomes a problem. So in availability of solar, in availability of solar grid, now let's see what happens. Majority of diesel generator, as we know, as soon as the grid is off, we need a reference for the solar power to work. So the diesel generator has to be on. But when we on the diesel generator, in absence of this kind of a controller, it is very difficult to know at what level should we maintain the diesel generator. And therefore, diesel generator might be working on its own without, without maintaining an optimum level. And therefore, there could be a high diesel consumption. In this particular case, as we see, the diesel generator is of 800 kVA capacity, and it normally majority of manufacturers refer to maintain 30% spin reserve to be maintained for DG. Therefore, it is maintaining at 240, and though the power plant is at 1000 kilowatt, only 560 kilowatt is drawn from the solar power. That's about the features. Some of the features, there are many more features, some of us who are interested to not to take too much of time, I would like to move on to the next and we could, we could come back with your questions in the question answer session. Moving on forward in terms of many of us think that when we, we say made in India, it means imported from somewhere and assembled in India. But would like to clarify, Sileaf as a company we are completely indigenous product and these, these products, as I mentioned, these products are completely designed, developed, procured and made in India and they're designed for Indian environment. We are service centers across India, something which we started with. We have taken care of this to maintain service centers all across India. We have R&D centers at Pune and Bangalore and we have two production units one at Pune and one at Bangalore. These are some of the products that we have launched, but we don't stop here. We wish to bring more interesting and more innovative products to you. And hence, we're coming up with our own battery management system, very soon launching this. Advanced storage packs with lithium ion batteries. The BMS and advanced storage pack has multiple applications in solar as well as electronic vehicles. And we have automatic panel cleaning systems launching by end of this year. We are open for all kinds of inquiries for distributorship, dealership, channel partners, or any type of business association you like to. So feel free to connect with us anytime. Thank you so much. Any questions on these would be like to take after the session once we start. Thank you.